Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Polish Co-Emperors, where me and Dom are bringing you an inconsistent series. Yep, that sounds exactly right. And first time too, no having to go back and re-record. Nuh-uh. Yes. Not whatsoever. Nah, nah, nah. We totally didn't have to go and re-record this all over again and have to lose 20 minutes of recording. Nah, totally not. It's fine. Yes. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's get into this. So... Oh, I also want to point out, as we start the game, as we start the game, there we go. Yeah, yeah, hey. I'm on it. Yeah, I know you are on it. You're on one, on one speed. Well, I don't, I don't know what speed we're going at. We can go at speed three. I mean, I think we, oh, I think nope. I'm going soft working. What? Ah, <laughs> what? No, no. Will this sink? Will this sink? No. It's fine. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, I just want to point this awesome. out because I didn't realize it until like a couple weeks ago was in our series. When we were divvying up the powers, I didn't realize that when I was divvying up the powers, I gave Dom control of the government, the military, and the religion. It's fine. Okay, and I wanted to point this out for one reason, and that's the fact that if Dom, if this was real life, if Dom really wanted to overthrow me, I don't think he'd really need that much persuasion to get me out of office. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about so it. So I'm just a little bit worried now. Like, this is kind of freaking me out. Now that, now that I know that, I'm kind of like a little bit paranoid. My army over here to the south is scared. It's fine. Well, you actually have a bigger army because I, we apparently don't have manpower. Hey, by the way, do we want a world of marriage with Austria? I oh, think yeah. we do. Oh yeah, Austria is our friend. Well, because, you know, we have to try and, you know, make buddies with them so they don't come and invade us after we take the Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, are we going to try to, like, become the Roman Emperors? That sounds fantastic, actually. You know, that could actually work. Just vassalize all the electorates? Yeah, we just need to vassalize the, um, the Menez, the... Actually, the quickest one would probably be Brandenburg. Bohemia, too. Brandenburg... I don't think we can vassalize Bohemia. It's hey, fine. I'm gonna repay our loans, because I, cause I do control... The only thing I do control, people, that is of importance is the economy. Not paying our troops. Ah, you guys are dying of attrition in your... Your homeland. It's funny. What were you saying? You're still dying of attrition. <laughs> Pay them you all saying? you want. <laughs> what do you? Oh yeah, and then there's James Land. I completely forgot about that. Hey guys, this has also been a couple of weeks for us, so we kind of maybe forget about a lot of things. Just saying. Maybe. Yeah. All um, I remember is that we have vassalized the Livonian Order, and Riga is still a thing. We should also rename War Wars Zawa to Warshaw. Because that seems pretty weird spelling. Unless it's Polish. It, which... It's probably Polish. But you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll please you. Thank you. You there should you, be. I am the go. better emperor here. That, that is debatable. But, you know, there you go. It's Warsaw. Ah, the nice Warsaw. And I'm going to start renaming all my land over here. To different names every time after Lubin. Also, somebody did point out in one of my comments that this is how you say it. You say Lubin. 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 D so that L doesn't exist? Yes. Got it. Lubin. Makes sense. It's, that's totally how it's spelled. Lubin. I don't know D Polish. Yeah, we don't know Polish. But James Land also is going to have Jamestown <laughs> in it. What? Damn, that's fantastic. <laughs> Jamestown has James Land in it. Okay. It makes perfect sense. Yay. Um, also, how close are we to annexing Moldovia? Uh, Not very close at all. Mm, we should get a royal marriage with these guys, though. Because they're, right. they're already our vassals. And I want to speed up the process here. I'm trying to find... I can't... Mm, there we go. This. What wow. You... Danzig has is giving us 48% overextension. It's okay. We're about to fix that. Remember, we talked about this last episode. I, I know. I remember you even made, you were even angry about it that we had this bad of overextension because of Danzig. I was like, it's okay, Dom. It's okay. I know. We'll get done. We're we'll so get close. Done. I'm looking at it. Look, right there. Right there. <laughs> 99? Ah, yeah! Fantastic. A culture yeah. is accepted. Prussian. Oh. Wait, we oh. accept Prussian? Wait, wait. We wait. accept Prussian. That is so good for us. Okay, okay. Frankfurt, your ass is ours. Okay, let's see. How much Prussian is next to us? 
I, I kind of want to see this. Um, Culture, Saxon. Wow, there aren't actually that much Prussian. I'm actually sad that actually aren't that many Prussians next to us. What the heck? The Teutons are gonna be. Oh, old, old Prussian is not new Prussian. That's some malarkey. <laughs> okay, so we just learned something. Okay, let's get back to the game. Um, I vote that we <laughs> remind the knights of their duty. What is that? We have to uh, vassalize the, tu uh, the Teutonics, or we can improve relations with Lithuania. I think we should improve relations and then vassalize the Teuts. I agree with that, and but then again, I am the controller of the missions and decisions, so I can you basically. Who said you? Who said that? Remember, I got the missions and decisions. That was part of the reason I gave you the control of the government. I, I can... do not remember this, but I'll, okay, I'll let okay. it happen. Okay, okay, I control the trade. Okay, I control F three. Control. Well, I control three, four, and five. Okay, you control one. Control one. We both kind of divvy up two. Um, you control ideas, six. Um, you control the overextension and the stability in our land, the religion, and the military, and then I control the subjects and the missions and decisions. I didn't agree to this, but I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. Okay, good. They pass through Congress, then. <laughs> Before I come up in here with my, you know, Roman legion and... Anyway... So, <clears throat> so, what do you think about, do you think we, I think our next target should be someone like, um, Pomerania? Mm. Or do you want to go after the Hordes? I'd rather not touch the Hordes with a 10-foot pole. Um, not until at least Muscovy starts going after them. Hmm. Really? I, maybe Bosnia. Oh. Oh, sorry, we don't actually have, um, <laughs> Hungary. That's, that, that's right, that's not a thing. Um, then Hungary, Hungary then. They um, hate us. They do, but we have to wait until, I think we should probably wait until they're out of the coalition. Wait, who is in the coalition against us right now? Um, the known world. <laughs> Holy, you're not joking, it really is the whole world. Wait, I could just go to coalition well, mode. Yeah, I'm in it right now. Uh, we got Sweden, Denmark, Pomerania, Bohemia, Hungary, the Teutonics, Sweden, notably. I mean, we could probably beat these guys. I'm not saying we couldn't. Oh, we it... can't beat. We we probably can't beat Sweden. They're kind of good. Uh, with Austria's help. There's no guaranteeing Austria's going to come. Let's figure it out now. Yeah, they would not. They don't like it. Austria's in debt right now. That's why. Hmm. Otherwise, they would join in. Hmm. Oh, okay. we've been improving relations with France, apparently. Okay, uh, do we plan on be but? Oh, we can actually become buddy-buddy with France. Do we want to become but buddy-buddies? I think we should. Okay, well, you can use your diplomat, and I'll just keep mine back here and improve relations with our little guy. Um. The little guy who could. The little, actually, the little Moldavia that could. Let's see, he's... Let me improve relations... And now we are the most powerful country in the world. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did we really just do that? Mm. Oh. <laughs> we have to accept it. It's like our destiny. Uh, we're overextending our diplomatic reputation, but it's fine. We're still making seven a month. It's okay. And we're about to lose Moldavia as a vassal anyway. So... We're actually going to be fine, people. So no one... By the way, who should we add as a rival? Muscovy... Definitely Muscovy. We, uh, you want to just add Denmark just so we look kind of intimidating to them? Sure. Okay. Denmark it is then. Yay! By the way, guys, I am using some mods, but none of them are checksum altering. Like, I have a flag improvement. This color is red now. Nothing and nothing scary, so I don't want to get any. Oh, you're such a late hacksaw and things Wait, that I never have, get. Oh my goodness, we have loans. Yeah, we do. We have a lot of loans. So you start paying our armies full maintenance. Yes. 
That's how the game works. <laughs> military access from Mecklenburg. I always say no to military access. Unless I want a specific w person to win. Wait, yeah. we're the people. We're the Pope. Yeah, I told you we're the Pope. I've been. I worked very hard to make <laughs> us the Pope. <laughs> what? When did we become the Pope? Uh, I think last episode. I worked very hard on this one. Okay. Uh, this is my pet project, don't you know? Uh, That's why we have free diplomats. Uh, Let's excommunicate Hungary. Uh, sure. I'm uh, fine with that. I can't. Why? Papal State, we need you to hate everybody we hate. Okay, Papal State, who do you hate right now? So that maybe we could use that to our advantage, because usually you never get to use this button because it's usually completely useless. Yeah. Ooh. Hey. Hey. What? Hey. What? Hey. What? Get those national ideas, yo. Oh, you just realized about? No, but now we can have the tech national ideas. I know, ideas. and I think now you're actually useful. Can we make... A joint decision on what idea, though. Uh, do you don't feel comfortable in your own um, decision making? No, I'm comfortable in my decision making, but you usurped that. I just wanna, I wanna have a say in what we do here. No, and no, no, I no. think we should definitely go dude, air. Dude, no, you can, you can basically just do it on your own. You have complete control of the ideas. Uh, I want Brandenburg to win, so yes. Um. Basically, just decide whatever you want, and I'll go with it. I'm thinking, I have no choice. let's see, maybe quantity, so we can get better manpower. I would say the best, okay, the three you must always have in a game is always trade, um, offensive, and quality. I do like offensive ideas, I really do. Those are the three texts that always are useful throughout everything. I mean, and of course, if you're being a colonial power, then you want to be like Explo expansion. Uh, yeah, expansion. Expansion, exploration. But other than that, nah. Maybe like humanist? Because we are going to be invading a lot of people. Maybe we should do, actually, you know what we should, well, are we going to become Protestant in this? Um... Don't know. Because, well. <laughs> Become cause... Orthodox via well... Lithuania. <laughs> Hold on. Actually, let's go take a uh, swing on over to the. No, I can't. I, That's I guess... a shame. There are no potential religions to convert to right now. Yeah, totally no. We totally only believe in one thing. Yeah. Oh my um... goodness. Oh my goodness, there's still a Kopec still alive in the world. <laughs> What's the espionage ideas, guys? Uh, I would highly advise against it, but I really have no final say in it. And yeah, there's Coptics in the world. Like, there's Ethiopia. No, but I mean, there's Armenia. Oh yeah, Armenia is... I forget that Armenia is Coptic. That's what I mean! They're actually still alive! Does, um... that, does that, like, shock no one? <gasps> Yay! Okay, so you can... Let's see, we are not ahead right now in military tech, so I'd st strongly advise... Thank you. <laughs> I was just seeing how much we had. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're still the papal controller. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, we're still the papal controller. <sighs> okay, so we should probably, at the same time, we should... Is there anyone that we can excommunicate? I don't know. They don't like Tuscany or Province. Should we just excommunicate him for the heck of it? Uh. <sighs> no, that's Siena. Where's Tuscany? Yep, we can ex excommunicate Tuscany. Already done. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> that's overstepping boundaries. If I'm a religious controller, does that give me access? Yes, but that was my diplomat. Uh, I was noticing some problems with this already. <laughs> that may have been your religious area, but that was my diplomat I used. 
-hmm. So, uh, technically, I was in my jurisdiction. I don't know, Rob. That's that's cutting it thin, man. <laughs> this is gonna we be. We cannot fun. excommunicate rulers left and right. We must wait at least until May 26 and the Holy Year of 62. If they have too much influence of the Holy Father. <laughs> Are you serious? Is that what it says? Yeah. Who are you trying to excommunicate? Province. That little place that usually gets annexed by uh, France? It, no. <laughs> Province is actually pretty powerful. They're not even uh, a vassal of uh, France. They're just allies. They lead a personal union with Lorraine. Yeah. Wow. They're they're not anything that you know. They're, they're a decent little power. Okay, and let's see. You know, let's see. Can we speed it up a little bit? I don't know, Bob. You don't know. You don't know. I'll. I'll also. I like how when you go into player's map mode, it just says my name, not yours. I'm very happy about that. Uh, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Hey! It's fine. The game just knows who's the best Poland. Woot! By the way, this is all my army. Hey! <laughs> this, hey is now. In, this is in southern Poland, okay? Hey now. Southern Poland. That means I get the entire Livonian army? Yeah. Alright, fine. We just have to wait to annex them, though. Which we probably should... You should probably get on that, because it's going to take us a long time. Well, A, I don't think we can. No, if you... Because remember, you get 200 plus relationships before improving stops working. So you can get them up to 100 with just improving relationships. Aggressive expansion is going to go down, so that means you'd probably get another, like, 20 there. Oh, and you just then, want me to improve relations, not actually try and... Uh... Annex. Yeah, I don't think you can yet. I think we're still like... Oh yeah, too... we're definitely below that. We're way too early. We can't annex them until this year. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, no, no. Until four years from this year. <laughs> yeah. Um, Man. I really don't want to take Newmark, but I kind of do. <laughs> If we take new luck, you know it's gonna cause difficulties for us. I know, Brandenburg's gonna call on us, and then bad things. But, you know. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, let me see, what are our national decisions? Improve, oh, we should probably improve relationships with these guys. Why am I, did you improve relationships with the Pope? <clears throat> Maybe. I uh, want more power! <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. How much power do we even have? Uh, enough. Do we need any more? Yes. Are you sure? <clears throat> There's always a need for more power. And what Constantine... Damn Ottomans reading in Constantinople. Oh no! The Byzantines have fallen, everyone! Who could have seen this ultimate... Catastrophe! <gasps> <laughs> oh, yeah. by the by the way, I have a mini fleet over here. We actually have ships. Oh, which Poland like, can enter relevancy. Which, by the way, how many ships could we build right now? We could build fifteen. Wow, we can actually build a decent amount of ships. Really? Oh, wow, we are actually over a force limit. All right, James, we need to make some concessions here. We both need to sacrifice one regiment of our armies. And I think that'll be enough. Okay. Why did you split up my entire army? Stop that. Because I was trying to get to all the way to one. Stop okay. it, you. There we go. I made my sacrifice with my bigger death stack. There you go. <laughs> and now we're actually making good enough money. So. I believe what we should do is start building a fleet, and I'm guessing the rule of thumb is that you deal with the Swedish, I deal with the uh, Ottomans. Um, <clears throat> sure. 
<laughs> you sound very unsure about that one. And Novgorod from out of nowhere is invading Norway. What? Yeah. Okay, maybe they can escape into Norway. I would love to see Novgorod take over Muscovy. It's it's not going to happen unless we prompt it. Nah. By the way, we should probably at some point declare war on Muscovy because they already conquered Perm. And we need to break up Perm really quickly so that they don't, like, over-expand to become mighty Russia. Well... That's not really a problem unless they take out Cybeer. When they take out Cybeer, then we then we cry. <laughs> then we cry. Oh, because then they just have a gateway into Siberia, and then bad things happen. Okay. Wow. Even France has fallen behind militaristically. I'm getting some severe <laughs> flashbacks from my um Soviet game. Why? Because this is the line, basically, between me and Germany. <laughs> and it's like... Eh. <laughs> so this is just... This is the line that you made it all the way from your mighty Russia all the way over here into, like, Poland. Well, I've made it... I don't recognize these names. I know that Moldavia was a good place. Yeah, basically, the Polish line right now. Is where my Soviet Union has made it. Wow. Wow. I'd be scared of that one right there. Well, I also have Slovakia, Czechoslovakia. Oh my goodness. And Hungary as vassals. Yeesh. I'm glad I don't live in that world, but nice, dude. Well, mm. ba basically, it's just, you know, trying to invade as hey, much as possible. Hey, government. I know, I've been working on it, but we're poor, okay? These things take time. You take your mom takes time. Wow. Most fought out comeback I've ever heard. <laughs> I know, right? It deserves an Olympic gold medal. That it does. Uh, Dude, we get subtle we get subtle we get subtle a chance even though we don't have any settlers. Isn't it isn't life grand? I know, isn't it? I think it's so great. I mean just like everything in life is just like all happy and dandy and I'm gonna stop it now. Okay. But, us Southerners, we don't care about any of your problems. Uh, yes. Okay. And I'm going to rename some of these provinces to border, just so we know where we stand. I don't know. That might get confusing. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I'll take it. I, I have to. What'd you do? Nothing. What? What just happened? Nothing. I feel like... I, I like... made sure that we didn't die to rebels. That's all you need to know. Okay. I just changed the names. Uh, Do you like it? No. It looks silly. <laughs> you think so? I thought it looks really great. Also, the fact that you're naming my provinces upsets me. <laughs> is that your province? Uh... I don't think it is. From how I see it, if that if we're splitting it down the middle, I mean. Okay, my problem. Going. My let's see, I get Brescia one, Moldavia, Polavia, James Land because it's James Land. I also get Mamalos, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six provinces. Okay. Mhm. Mm three, four, five, six. Okay, and then I get Belez seven, eight, which is border two. 9, which is border, and then 10, which is border 3. You get Polans 1, Danzig 2, Emirate 3, Sklindland 4, Pollock 5. That gives you a lot six, of. 7, 8, 9. Okay, yes, border 3 is yours. Actually, border 2. Border 2 is yours. I'll give you border 2 if I take border 1. Deal. Yeah, slightly higher production value. What? Oh, you. Also, I just want to be touching Lithuania. Mm, Lithuania. There we go. Bad deal. <laughs> it's a problem, it's a bad deal. It's okay. It will live long into the years. Oh, yay! I completely mm -hmm. forgot we were doing that. Yay! Okay, so now I get to decide what we do next. Uh, sure. 
I think we should remind the Knights of their duty. They're right now in a coalition against us. That means they call in everyone yeah, else. Yeah, wait, hold on. Yeah, that's... How about the rival of our rival? Brandenburg's opinion... Wait, does Brandenburg hate us? Probably. Actually, no, they love us. Huh. They actually... They actually love us, wow. Okay, create a proper fleet is the only one we can actually do right now. I've made two ships. <laughs> there you go. Oh my goodness. Without, We're poor, okay? Without consulting the uh, money man? Mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't need to consult is. you on matters of the military. This is the matter of money, though. To buy the military, and you see need exact, money. And see where the problems will start to come up. <laughs> Well, didn't you... um, so are you admitting that you overstepped your boundaries? Hmm? No, I'm saying I'm rightfully within my boundaries and that you're, you, you need to calm yourself. By the way, we probably should tech up first before we start adopting too many ideas. Uh, no, it's fine. Just saying. I think that a good recruitment time is necessary. I believe so too, but... Ooh. We have no manpower to recruit from. We have 8,000 men. Or women. You know, I don't think Poland's really into that, but... Are we? Uh, are we? You. I mean, I'm not sure, but are we? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think Poland allowed women in the military. I don't think anybody did. One of, I, I know one of the first ones was the Soviet Union because they were crazy. So is it crazy to allow women into the uh, military? Oh, no. I mean, like, it's very <laughs> zealous of them at the time. <laughs> Everybody's equal. Everybody. Uh, no, maybe. I've actually been reading this book. The women in the Soviet Union kind of... It was weird. It was a weird situation. What do you mean? Well... Um... Basically, the women in the Soviet Union would, they were like, oh yeah, they're equal, they can get the same jobs as men, and yeah, that's absolutely right, except that, well, they would get the really bad jobs. Like, I don't know, working in the fields, working in the ba uh, bad factories, stuff like that. So yeah, it was equal, but they just made them do the, you know, heavy lifting. <laughs> so really wasn't equal at all? Not really. Okay, all right. Sounds like any of my viewers want to back his claim up. Can any of you guys verify this? Please send me a little comment in the comment section. <laughs> if you were in the Soviet Union from the years 1940 to the year 1991, please tell us and please give us a comment to say if this is true. And if you are female, that would also help. Yeah, gives more claim. Yes. Okay. Uh, hey, Dom. Yo. Okay, so I am going to excommunicate Provence. Is that all right? Um, let me think about it. Too late, I did it. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, also, then. I'm spreading the good word to your people. I hope you're okay with that. Um. You probably should have told me a little bit before that. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want him to be, you know, dirty orthodox heathens, even though? Hey, hey, you southerners be quiet. We personally love orthodoxy back down here in the south. Y you southerners be quiet. We love orthodoxy here in the south. Very confused. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> You're down in the south, too? No, you said... No, I, that was exactly what you said. Note my I, confusion. I said we love, we love orthodoxy just as we love Catholicism down here in the south. No, you say you southerners shut up. We love, and then that, which made me a bit confused. And why is Pomeranian invading Sweden? I have a lot of questions. Oh, because that's why Denmark wanted a province, and wanted okay. Gotland. Ah, uh, I like Gotland. I want an independent Gotland. Yeah. I don't think Sweden's actually that powerful in this game, dude. Mm, no. No, they're not. That's also, a shame. Also, they're in a coalition against us. We're the biggest threat. Whew. 
Man. Uh... Don't buy anything but paying off our loans. Buy ships? No. Hold I didn't on. approve that. Am I satisfied? I'm satisfied. I have a larger navy than you. Uh, you, you are those trade ships? No, four galleys. Why'd you not build trade ships? I thought you were going to start trying to take the Baltic Sea. Yeah, no, I'm totally going to take that away from Sweden. Yep, definitely. We already have... We're, we're 29% already in power! That's nothing. Dude, we have more power than the Swedish do. We don't even have any ships in the area. Calm, calm down, man. It's fine. <laughs> I know, well, but that seems well, I, like... I, I would make some trade ships, but, you know, someone's like, no, no, don't make any of those. Yeah, see? See? You paint off your loans and stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness, but how are we making more money than Sweden is in the Baltic Sea? It's fine. Don't no, worry no, no. about it. I'm, I'm just questioning it. That's, that's all I'm happening right now. It's just questioning. It's like, how are we making more money? <laughs> eh, who knows? Oh wow, that's really cool. Okay, so my um, my my recording software is automatically adjusting my mic volume. Really? It's kind of scary. I see it happening on the other side. Oh. Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. <clears throat> anyway. Do you need to go to a doctor? Yeah, I do actually. Like, I need to get this checked out. Hmm. Just show up at the doctor's office, my computer. Why is DX Tori doing this thing? Why is he? Oh. Shoot. Hmm. You're gonna hate me for this, but we actually... That's oh, okay, I already do. Why? Uh, I didn't actually start the timer. Hmm. So I have no... We've been going for 32 minutes. Oh, fantastic. Um... <laughs> so I guess everyone you get a very long episode back because we've been lazy about uploading there so, you go I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>